Welcome everybody to episode 10 of Let's Chat Community Rugby. We're going to have a look at all the past week's results from the FMG Premier Grade, look around the grounds, um, also talk about the local hero of the week, TMO Clip of the Week, um, and look forward at uh, next week's games. I'm your host, Dane Lazarus, joined by Coops. Coops, thanks for joining us. How are you, Dan? Yeah, going well, mate. Good, going good. well. Uh, we're going to dive straight in, Coops. Round one, uh, last week's round. First one up, live stream fixture. You were in the middle, got a bit wet. Yeah, West's Wanneroo, um, up at Kingsway Reserve. Mate, let's just call this a grind. Yeah. Uh, Wanneroo scoring in the first three minutes of the game and then the um, West boys only um, scoring um, their try with four minutes to go and slotting the, the conversion to win by two there. So a nice close one, 7-5 yeah. to the West Scarborough boys there. Tough um, one, tough one, yeah. but yeah, uh, good win by West. They, they need to keep winning. Obviously, this meant that top four spot or top yeah. six spot. Um, in the other results there, Associates defeating UWA, apparently a bit, a bit of spite, a bit got under the skin of the UW boys, the Soaks boys. Yeah, good little rivalry there. I think the Soaks boys went out there and bashed them up a little bit. Yeah, it was, um, it was a good game. I watched a bit of the highlights on that one. It was really good. Um, in the other results, Coastal Cavs defeating Curtin, 47-6. Palmyra defeating Southern Lions, 37-14. That's a big win there. That's a huge, huge by Pally. Yeah, they're, yep. they're on the road to getting into that top spot. They, yep. they, they know they've got to win. Uh, Cot Jundi, no love lost between these two teams. Uh, Tobbs is his favourite team to play against, and he'd be happy with that 15-14 win, I reckon. Yeah, a bit of lightning stop play halfway through the game as well. Yeah, not, um, good. not good. But no one injured. Got the cheese. Got the cheese. <laughs> uh, Nedlands, 43, defeating Basie, 6 over at the foreshore, and a massive one here, Ox and Kalamunda. Kalamunda 30 points to 26 over, over Ox. Yeah, big one for the Cali boys. I think they're sitting around that 6-7 spot, so it's a big win for them. Yeah, and, and hopefully, yeah, no, obviously they'll be looking at getting into our top six and, and, you know, had a tough start, but definitely finding form now. Yep. Yeah, so the Junior Wallabies played their, their first three games. Um, first one, defeating Italy. Second game, defeating Ireland. 45-17 in a, an enjoyable game to watch, actually. And then last night, unfortunately, um, going down to the English. Yep. Um, but due to the way the results have landed in their pool, they, they finished top spot. Um, so they're going to go into the semis. I think they're going to be playing Argentina. Yep. On, um, on Tuesday, I believe. Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Yep. So um, tune in for that. The boys are going well. So Carlo Macca... Um, Keep performing, boys. Good job. Yeah, absolutely good work. And um, in the other one there, South Africa take on England yep. in the other semi. So yep. those are the under-20 fixtures. Um, what we have here, Mika Kaida. So for those of you who know Mika Kaida, is part of the Wallaroo squad, a fabulous Super W player and a Kaida Slow Shegal. And she sat down with Rugby.com to outline, I guess, her Rugby WA journey um, towards Wallaroos. And so if you want to see that story, please head over to the Rugby WA website for more information. It's a, it's a great little piece there, Coops. Uh, she's got a lot of passion about playing for the Wallaroos, uh, being Kiwi herself coming over. Um, but it's a great little watch there and, and, you know, real passionate player there. So please head over and watch that one. Uh, next up, um, a bit of an announcement for the, the senior... News. Yeah, breaking news <laughs> here on um, Let's Chat Community Rugby. Um, we are announcing that the old Perth Gold concept is coming back um, to play a tournament um, in October yep. or end of September, sorry. So those guys playing senior rugby, um, you've got another representative team to be able to take part in. Um, this will sit just underneath our NRC team. So the Western Force NRC team will be selecting a represent representative team from our community grades um, for that. So pretty cool. exciting, another opportunity for the boys. Yeah, on, on, on the scale and going over to South Australia you mentioned there? Yep. Yeah, so that's going to be awesome. So keep playing well and, and you'll get the recognition. More information will come out shortly about that as well. So Coops, um, enough from around the grounds, but if you have any stories, please send in to us. Uh, we're going to look at the tipping for the weekend, Coops. Yep. Uh, hopefully it's not as wet this week. I think there's a bit of rain, but not no lightning, which is good. Please. Fingers crossed. <laughs> uh, so first up, we got West Scarborough versus Coastal Caps over at Bennett Park. Um, who do you have in this one? Mate, um, it's hard to tip against the West boys at home. Um, I know the Coastal Caps will come out and, and give it a red-hot crack. 
um, but I think the West boys will be a little bit too strong there. Yeah, but uh, quite a bit of a reshuffle there for West, yep. and Coastal will definitely try to exploit that. Yep. So yeah, good luck to Coastal. Um, Cottesloe Basie should be a good one. Yeah, I was speaking to Brendan Logue, Basie coach. He reckons he's got a couple of things up up their sleeve for the Cop boys this weekend. So old Alex Dyke, who got a bit of inside knowledge of the boys as oh, well, yeah. be next coach of Cot. So no love lost there, I reckon. <laughs> Who's your tip though? Uh, I'll go Cot. I'm going to head down there. It's Ladies' Day at Cot as well. Oh, so got to get down, support the ladies. Um, Hawks v Joondalup over at HBF uh, Marina. Who do you uh, have here, Coops? Mate, I reckon the Arcs boys will, will, will head up there and, and take the chocolates in this one. Um, Big one. Yeah, they're unlucky to lose against Kala last week. Um, but... Yeah, I think they'll be too good for June Love. Yeah, I think so too. Um, Neddy, Southern Lions at the foreshore. You can't write Netherlands off here. I think they're, what, a couple on the trot now, quite a few. Yep. They only lost one this year so far? Yeah, one or one two, or two. I think. Yeah, so yeah, I'll say Netherlands over Southern Lions by a couple. Yep. Soaks, Wanneroo, Allen Park, Boneyard. <sighs> wow, I think this is a this is most probably my match of the round um, from how close it's going to be. The Wanneroo boys last weekend fronting up with the West pack um, if they front up against Soaks this, this week like they did last week I think they'll give them a, a red hot crack um, I think a couple of the, the Soaks June July summer holidays to <laughs> Europe's coming up now yeah. so they might be losing a few players always take a hit this time for those boys um, and Wanneroo they got a tough run home last three rounds and they'll want to win this and try cement that top six spot yep that's it uh, Pally Curtin uh, live stream game of the round um, over at Tompkins Park uh, who do you have here? Mate, Pally on a roll. Yeah. Um, I think they'll they'll dust Curtin yeah, on the weekend. I think so too. And and last but not least, Kalamunda taking on UW. So Caller off that, that good win over uh, over Arc at Hartfield. Um, up against UW, who I guess will be looking to bounce back, no doubt. Yep. Um, what do you have in this one? Um, this one's going to be close. I reckon two points either way. Um, I could even throw out a draw here, don't <laughs> Draw yeah. to spice things up. <laughs> we haven't had a draw this year, have we? A one in one. the second round, ah, I think. Okay, not like Super Rugby with like eight or yeah. something. Anyway, uh, local hero of the week, Coop. So if you want to chat about our local hero, yeah. So this week's local hero of of the week is Lane Mandon, um, Kalamunda Junior President. Um, pretty much does everything um, from club organisation to also backing up for third grade, second grade, and <laughs> premier grade as well. So um, does a lot for the club. But as we as we know, um, there's always someone behind the scenes helping him out and um, his partner, Kelly. Yeah. Um, when you get a reply from Lane's email address, <laughs> it majority of the time is from Kelly. So, so to both of you, really, um, thanks for your support. Um, and no doubt, Kalamunda are very appreciative of the time and effort you put into the club. Well done, well done, Lane, well done, Kelly, and well done, Kalamunda. Yep. Um, TMO Clip of the Week, this is a good one. It was at um, at the Rue Dogs home ground, Wanneroo versus West last week, third grade. Yep. This is a little bit of a law one here, Coop, so maybe you can just talk us through what actually happened here and, and why this was given a try. Yeah, so this one's an interesting one. Um, it's all around the corner post. Um, ball getting grubbed into in goal, bounces off the the corner posts and back into the in goal area. The the Wanneroo player scoots through, dives on the ball um, and scores the try. Um, we'll have a look and then we'll discuss it a little bit further afterwards. Come on, Phil! Go, Mikey! Go, Mike! No! Try that, doesn't matter! That's not, that's not on the touch. Yeah, so good try there. Awarded. Yep. West reckon it was odds. Yeah, they sure did. <laughs> um, yeah, so the law there, if the ball bounces, hits the corner post, bounces back into the field of play, the ball is still live. So therefore, the Wanneroo player was entitled to, to dive on that ball and score that try. It's a good try. Good one in the wet. That's it. And that's it for another week here, Coops. You're off. You're over another junket, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Tough games. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of Super Rugby ARing this weekend, mate. So uh, good, be good luck. Thank Which you. game do you have? Um, running touch for the Rebels Chiefs and the Brumbies Reds game. So 
Little boys double header. Busy. Boys busy. So, Coops, good luck with that one. Um, if you have any uh, stories to go around the ground, please send them in to Rugby WA Media. Any uh, local heroes that you think we need to recognise, um, please send them in as well. TMO Clips of the Week, anything from this round, anywhere, training, just send stuff in and, and we'll put that up as well. So, uh, good luck to all team playing this weekend. Uh, once again, Ladies Day at Cot, so, you know, if you're not doing anything, head down there. It's always a good day. Um, and Coops... We'll see you next week. Thanks, mate. Have no a good worries. weekend. You too. Cheers.